what was so creepy about it as I was reading through these text messages is just how similar the lies are. So many of these lies that these children are parroting in these texts, so many of these claims are things that I was made to believe too. Hi, welcome to the Anti-Alienation Project. I'm Maddie, and here on my project, I talk about all things related to parental alienation. Last year, I realized the truth that I had been alienated from my dad by my mom for 20 years. Since then, I've been rebuilding my relationship with my dad and speaking out about this form of abuse. A few days ago, I asked everybody if they would be interested in sending me anonymous texts from their alienated children, and I wanted to dissect them. Well, the texts started pouring in. <laughs> I got more messages than I ever expected from you guys. Honest to God, I found myself really creeped out because so many of the messages were the exact same thing. The verbiage, the word choice, the tone, the subject matter. There were so many similarities among these texts that were sent from dozens of alienated children in different states of different ages. It was so weird to me that so many of them were the same. And then I thought about it more and I realized this is not weird at all. I shouldn't be surprised by this either. I mentioned this in videos before, but the alienated child is simply a microphone for the alienator. They really are being controlled. Their thoughts are being controlled. Every part of them is being controlled by their alienator. And, you know, with the alienating behaviors, the effects on the child, we see so many predictable patterns about what these people do, how they achieve the brainwashing and the even the effects on the targeted parent are the same. I've talked to experts about this, read research. It seems to come from the pathology of the personality disorders. So I think the, pa the, the personality disorders themselves are what cause all of these patterns to come out in this form of abuse. So thinking about it that way, it's not very surprising to me that so many of these texts from these children are saying the same thing because it's all the alienators speaking Really. There were so many commonalities on these texts, I went ahead and made this chart. I identified six common themes, but you could also add the seven that the child claims the targeted parent is a victim and never takes accountability. So let's just get into it. This might be a heavy topic, but I'm going to try to offer some light in this situation. Here's the first text. I'm sure you're sending this for appearances so that you can show everyone what a thoughtful and giving person you are and how I'm a brainwashed daughter that snaps back at you. Already there's a lot to look at. This is very similar to what I was made to believe. So the alienator puts on these like dark glasses over the child's eyes and it's like a confirmation bias and that they're looking for signs of anything that could be taken in a negative way with their targeted parent. And this is something I can attest to being true. If my dad ever did anything kind or nice for me, I would think to myself, wow, oh, he's really trying to manipulate you. He's doing it so other people can see believe that he's thoughtful and generous. Their brain has been molded and shaped to do so many mental gymnastics to convince themselves that they can, their, their parent cannot be good, cannot be selfless cannot be kind so they must have an ulterior motive so alienated kids are always trying to come up with that ulterior motive to make their reality stay reality also a way that alienators are able to get away with this is by hiding in plain sight and let me explain what i mean by this so my mom she did you know tell me that what my dad believed i know your dad just thinks that i'm manipulating and brainwashing you and of course i would say mom i know you're not brainwashing me i know you're not manipulating me it's all my decision and because of that because she brought it up and to me she was able to hide the manipulation and the brainwashing in plain sight and that's what i see here with this text too the, per, the child says i'm a brainwashed daughter who snaps back at you she's saying this ironically and it's not ironic at all that is the truth but she has already been told that by her alienator i can tell or at least i speculate the alienator is able to get away with it the child goes on to say like i said on the phone i think it's best that we don't have any contact because my mental health is a bit better when i'm away from you both physically and online I'm not your daughter. Please don't contact me anymore. With this text, in this test message we've got, well, she says, I'm not your daughter, so check 
for disowning the parent. And I think we're gonna see that disowning the parent is the most common theme. All of these messages are pretty vicious, but this one's especially vicious. The kid says, if you make any attempt to force your will upon mine, such as trying to make me come to your house at this time, there will be serious repercussions. We have a threat there. I will no longer show remorse for what is clearly toxic behavior. It is not my duty as your son to care for you in this way. You're not going to guilt trip me or blame me for being put in this situation anymore. A reasonable person would empathize, and if you can't do that, that's your problem, not mine. Therefore, if you continue to take action against my wishes, you can consider our relationship finished. That's another threat. I will do everything in my power to establish myself, and once I have the autonomy, I, it will be to you as if I no longer existed at all. I am my own person. Regardless of how hard you try, you cannot control me any longer. I do not feel comfortable in your house or around you. Whether your behavior is intentional or caused by some deeper mental health issues, it is impossible for me to trust you and I have observed your actions to be very manipulative. You yourself have spoken against that as a concept, which among other things I find sufficiently hypocritical. That does not make sense. I have noted our conversations and analyzed them with great thoroughness and so don't expect the benefit of the doubt any longer. I really think the alienator might have written this. This doesn't even sound like a teenager's use of language. Okay, so here's another one. I do not want to see you or talk to you. It's not my dad's fault that I'm feeling this way. So, check mark for it's my decision. They're taking accountability of their actions and it's claiming that it's not the other parent's fault, which is something that I did as well when I was alienated. They say, it's you and everybody over there that has made me feel this way. Here are some quotes that a parent sent that their child says often, apparently. It's my decision and no one else's. Check for it's my decision taking accountability instead of their parent. I was mad at you long before that. You're fired from being my mom for life. Again, disowning their parent. I think so far every message has disowned the parent. This is crazy. Just the commonalities between the text messages is just... Wow. So here we have the child says, you seem really sorry. The parent says, yes, I am. You're sorry for gaslighting and abusing me? I'm sorry for whatever you feel I have done. I wish things could be different. Gaslighting, we can put under psychological terminology that kids don't usually know. And that psychological terminology, by the way, is coming from the alienator. It's usually projection. I was told from the start of the alienation that my dad has narcissistic personality disorder. What other way would a nine-year-old even know that that exists, even know that terminology? The kid says, do you understand how saying I'm sorry for what you feel I've done is not taking responsibility for your actions? You are implying it is a feeling and not a reality. It minimizes what it minimizes me and what I've gone through. So don't expect me to believe that you care about me when you say something like that. And the parent says, I don't want to minimize anything. I don't want to minimize anything you feel at all. I understand how hurt you are. And this is a common problem I've heard from parents that their alienated kid wants them to take responsibility for stuff they didn't do. And it's my opinion that you should never take accountability for anything you have not done. No, do not give in to that fa false reality that would be supporting the lies, supporting the false reality. However, I do think it's important for targeted parents to take accountability for all the things they have done. Often, apologize often, this will show them that you're not the narcissist and uncaring and unfeeling person that they've been made to believe you are. Here we have allegations of abuse check this one's really sad to me it's um a child who wrote they call it a short story it's called diamonds in the sky and it's a creative piece that really is really it, it's disturbing i'm not gonna lie it's disturbing it's also really sad let's just read it diamonds in the sky there was something shiny in the sky it looked like a diamond it came down 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 into my family's farm unfortunately it landed on my mom and smushed her flat like a pancake but that didn't worry us we were all safe and sound. We moved to the town of Buckleberry, far away from the diamond, and settled there. We have lived here since and have had a blast. I bet my mom is having fun too, underneath the gigantic diamond. This is really disturbing, horrific, and I think it just goes to show the level of splitting in this child that you could imagine your parents' death and have it not worry us. So I would definitely classify this whole entire thing as disowning the parent. My mom goes to everything, unlike you. You leave. We don't want you in our life anymore, Dad. You don't deserve us. Disowning the parent. Allegations. Check, check. All right, this one is another really vicious one. They're all vicious. I'm not sure what else I have to do to get my point across to you, that I don't want to speak to you, hear from you, or see you. To disowning the parent. You've done nothing but hurt me my whole life, and I'm done with it. 
allegations. You're going to sit and point fingers at everyone but yourself. And if that's what makes you sleep better at night, then do you. Then you do you, I guess. But I don't want to go to Minnesota with you or be with you during Christmas. I can't believe that my own dad would force me to do something I don't want to do, especially when it comes to Christmas. If you do force me to go, I'm not talking to you. I'm not looking at you. I'm not hugging you, period. Threats. I'm almost 16. I shouldn't be forced to see someone or go somewhere I don't want to, even if it's my own dad. I know you're going to try to make me feel bad, but letting you know in advance, I don't feel bad and I won't feel bad, so you don't need to waste your time giving me a guilt trip about it. Have a good night. Goodbye. This is all caps, so I'm, I'm feeling the anger. You said you would pay for the house, but look at you now. You aren't paying anything. You aren't even giving mom money anymore. You should be ashamed. Child support. This is always a huge red flag if any child is talking about child support or money. I mean, where would they learn that? other than from their other parent. And this dad's response, I need to point this out too. You know, his response is, I'd say, really, really appropriate. I, I, I really, I respect this dad for his response too. He says, how do you know I'm not? It's a shame you've been told that. It really is. It is a shame, real shame. Here's another message. I was at a party and wasn't gonna call you. The only problem is that you don't pay child support at all. So check a mark for another child support. Okay, here's a longer message. I saw your Facebook message years ago on my birthday. I know I clearly was never actually worth it for you. That's a true statement that they're saying. They actually believe that. This child believes that they were never worth it to their targeted parent, and that's really sad. I would put that under allegations. When I was young, I was more of a responsibility, more of a financial burden, and you clearly couldn't handle it or want to. If you were so educated, you know then what it really takes to bring a child into this world and what it entails. If you weren't ready or want to have children, why do so? To cause damage to them at an early age? I guess I wasn't good enough of a daughter for you or too much of a bill. That's another true statement. It's coming right from this, per this kid's heart. They have been made to believe they're not a good enough daughter for, for them. Or too much of a bill. So we'll put that under child support as well. The fact that all these kids keep bringing up money is really concerning. Keep continuing to pray because I'll be damned to let you even think you'll come close to me. That could be a threat. No, I absolutely don't need you as dad, putting the dad in quotes or referring to the, the dad as sperm donor, taking away the dad's last name, or moms, I'm just using dad from this example, all of that is disowning the parent. So yeah, disowning the parent. And she says, you're right. When I do have children, if I do, I promise you, I will never turn my back on my child. You learn best from failure, right? But it be by your own parents is truly the biggest lessons I've learned in life of what not to do or what not to be. Keep thanking God I even respond to you. Seriously, because I really don't want to. You just need to hear what I, that I've held on to for a while. I know it doesn't matter what I say, though, because you are still stuck in your ways. Victim, narcissist, psychological terminology, blaming other people for their issues. That's another common theme I've seen with these texts. The kids have been made to believe that their other parent will not take accountability and is a victim who blames other people. Could have put that as a, a seventh category, actually. This person just sent me a few quotes that their child says often, which is one, you abandoned me. So, allegations of abandonment. You abandoned me at four years old, and the parent says in parentheses, that's when I left her dad, not her. You choose your other kids over me. I've mentioned this in other videos, and I'll say it again. Alienators not only pit the child against their other parent, but they also instill in the child the belief that their other parent loves other children more than them. So there we have another false allegation here. This kid says to their targeted parent, God, you're annoying. I'm blocking you now. And in response to that, the parent just says, happy birthday. And the alienated kid actually sends uh, the parent some lyrics of a song that's apparently called A Boy's A Gun by Tyler, the Creator. And the lyrics say, because the irony is, I don't want to see you again. Stay the fuck away from me really sad disowning the parent here's another one the child says you just have to make everything so difficult you're nothing but a drug addict allegation who doesn't care for his children another allegation go back to the liquor store okay just ignore me like a child maybe everything everyone says about you is true actually what they're doing here is admitting the uh, the alienation they're admitting that people are talking shit about their other parent to them and kudos to this parent and their response, because they actually just said in response, all of this is very hurtful. Causes great pain because I love you always. What a good parent. Like, really awesome. I don't think I'd be able to respond like that. The parent says, happy Halloween. Why do you only message me when it's convenient for you? Says the child. I send you regular messages to stay in touch. Would you like more frequent messages? 
The kid says, I've made it very clear I don't want you in my life. Disowning the parent. The parent says, why? They say, because you're a shit dad. Allegation. You've never been there for me. Allegation. The parent says, I don't find that statement true. All these parents are doing an excellent job responding very evenly and with love. It's astounding. The kid says to this parent, whenever anyone brooches a subject with you, instead of admitting your stake and apologizing, see, here's the common theme again of the child believing the other parent thinks of themselves as a victim and won't take accountability. So instead of admitting your mistake and apology, apologizing, you simply blame the situation, the timing, mental health, etc. I have never given you hard terms for our relationship until now. You need to go figure out what's going on in your head. Everyone in your life thinks you have bipolar, including me. Allegation. I do not want to have to do anything with you until you seek legitimate professional help. Threat. Not just from a therapist that only hears your side of the story. Jeez. Another one. The kid says, you are nothing but sperm to me. Disowning the parent in the most graphic and hurtful way. You did not pay child support, even though they had child support. Complete falsehood statements of any kind backed with extreme anger and resentment. So that would be allegations. Changing their last name to that other stepfather and erasing your, their, my last name. Disowning the parent. Hang in there. We're getting to the end of these. I know it's a lot to take in. I just wanted to show the commonality, especially between all these messages. Here's a little bit of a longer one from a family needed child. How do you know I would want to even see you? Or anything along the lines of actually speaking to you more than a text message? Do you think you're owed that just because you're my quote unquote dad? Disowning the parent by putting it in quotes. I'm already having a hard time even responding back to you. A person that has been basically completely absent for the majority of my life. A person that has never actually given a single F about me and my well-being. Allegation. A person that is never supposed to leave their only child's side. You keep sending me videos of alienated children. Oh my gosh. I guess this parent has actually tried to tell them try the truth. The child says, but do you know about the problems a daughter has without her dad at a young age? I'm sure you do and are fully aware, but you're too busy being ignorant, continuing to point the finger at other people but yourself and playing the victim. I should have made a category for playing the victim because they're all saying that. Can you also stop calling my family influencers or alienators? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing, but I think this, this kid is confused whether, and that's why they said the word influencers, what they mean is alienators. It's just disrespectful considering they raised me to be who I am. In all caps, your only child they didn't have to raise. All right, this one is actually really sad and it's not in the same vein of what I've been showing you. It's actually a text from the child that it seems like they know about the alienation. The child says, she came in and looked at my phone, meaning the mom. She tried to take it, but I shut it off and yanked it. But she said that I respect you more than I do to her. And she went to bed. This one's sad as well. It's kind of the same deal. The, the child says, hey, know that I love you, but I'm gonna block this number. Sad. I love you, but she keeps going through the phone and I just got it back and I don't want to lose it again. But I love you guys and tell everyone that I love them too and I will talk to you my mom lets me. I just don't want to lose the only things I have to entertain myself. Love you, but I have to. That breaks my freaking heart. That is so sad. Oh my gosh. This is like evidence of alienation. I hope this parent takes this evidence to their lawyer. That's a terrible situation for a child. All of this is a terrible situation for a child to be in. And I have one more that I want to respond to because some parents out there may be thinking, well, dang, I wish I'd get any text from my kid. I haven't heard from them in years. And that's what this speaks to. Someone messaged me saying that in response to your post about dissecting messages from alienated kids, what about no response to anything ever? Texts, letters, cards, gifts, requests to see them all met with silence. It's like all my attempts to show love or communicate fall into a black hole somewhere. Same with their grandparents and my whole side of the family. Their dad actually sent them a letter saying if they contact him and the kids he will consider it harassment this is so hard i have a few thoughts on this situation where you don't get any texts no response maybe you're blocked maybe you're blocked for a period of time and then unblocked and then blocked again the first thing is just because you're not getting any responses doesn't mean they're not reading your messages and keeping your letters too they're, if they're still living with their alienator, there is a possibility that your texts, letters, cards, gifts, everything is being intercepted by the alienator and the child has no knowledge that you've sent letters, gifts, etc. Thirdly, if your child has gone no contact, in my opinion, that does not automatically mean 
that they hate you, that they're angry at you, that they never want to talk to you again, or that they are never going to reach out again. That's not what that means. It can mean a whole bunch of things, and as hard as it would be to not read into it, I would encourage people to try to not read into it. The last time I went into contact with my dad, this is why I went on contact with my dad. I was not doing well in many different ways, and because my brain had been so programmed and brainwashed by my mom to think that my dad is the biggest problem in my life. In that state of being brainwashed and manipulated, I thought, well, maybe if I go completely no contact with my dad again, I will get better. I was so desperate to get better that I thought maybe full no contact will help me get better. Surprise, surprise, it did not help me at all. I did not get better. I, that last time I went no contact, my dad did not do anything or say anything to make me mad or upset or angry or hurt. It was not his fault at all. I simply was brainwashed to think he was the problem and maybe this will help me get better. I just say that so that parents maybe realize this is not personal. All of this is a result of personality disorders. A sickness in your child's other parent's brain that's causing these predictable behaviors. As a result, you're getting a false identity that the alienator has created within your child, similar to the false identity that cult leaders put in the cult members. That's truly where it's coming from. Here is something that I wanted to talk about as a message of hope before I end this video. The alienated child is a microphone for their alienator. And as you can see here, it's possible to break down the messages that the alienator is trying to send to you. And why is this helpful? Well, for one thing, the next time that you get a nasty text message from your alienated child, if they say, you're not my mom, you're not my dad, you know that they're sim it's simply the alienator disowning the parent. If they bring up child support, you know that it's the alienator bringing up child support and so forth. It's also helpful, I think, because you can know that when your child is claiming their decisions are their decisions and their beliefs are their beliefs, they're simply parroting what alienated children are made to think. Whenever they say an allegation, you can see how common that is. The psychological terminology is proof of the alienator's influence, and subtle threats that they use are also coming from the alienator. I hope that this video has been helpful for some people. At the very least, I hope it shows you that your child has been systematically brainwashed since all of these texts are so similar, sharing the same language, verbiage, tone, word choice, al allegations. It's not a coincidence. It's all coming from the alienators and they all think the same because they, most for the most part, all have the same personality disorders. If you like this video, please give it a like to get the video into the algorithm. And if you appreciate my channel, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.